Hi, good morning and good evening to everyone. Welcome to Mainframe Tutorial. This tutorial is about the CICS. So in this video, I would be like to share about the different ways of placing a cursor on the screen. So there are three different ways of placing a cursor. One is static, dynamic and relative. So what is static cursor positioning? Static cursor positioning with IC in the map design. This is mainly used while designing a map. So below will be the example. So where you would be using IC in a cursor, static cursor positioning. So it will be when you place IC over here. So you are having a set of five fields. So it will be placed on the first field. Whenever, wherever it occurs, this position, this IC, wherever you code this IC, that cursor will be positioned to a specific that specific to that particular field. So I have pla I am placing for this particular field. So the cursor will be placed on for that particular field. So the next one is dynamic cursor positioning. Dynamic cursor positioning by moving minus one to length field and also cursor option is send map command. So below shows the example. Move minus one to the length field. Exit CIC here send map map set and the cursor. So this is the dynamic positioning cursor positioning. And next would be the relative cursor positioning. Relative cursor positioning by cursor with value in the send map command. So cursor option with a value related to zero instead of one comma one is zero. So the important point you, which you need to make sure is it is always better to use dynamic cursor positioning while error is noticed and terminal is end user is notified with error message. It is it is very important to have dynamic cursor positioning. My better suggestion is to use dynamic cursor positioning in order to have exception handling and throw what the message to a user. Sometimes program has to read the cursor position on the screen to send help on the feed. Yes, definitely in real time we would definitely need the cursor position where it is and uh, based on that cursor position we, we would be going to validate. So in this case EIB CPOSN is used. So these are the two important points which we may, we we need to make sure while coding a CICS program or while designing a map and placing a cursor position option. So these are the best use cases uh, which is used real time. Create a new inquiry screen for data browse by the end user, right? And update existing screen. Include new fields that are used for business validation. So you have you are provided with a set of screens where you would be where a business people would be entering the data fields and so these are the two best use cases uh, where the cursor position is used. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please feel free to subscribe on my YouTube channel, like or share and give a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great and pleasure day.